A montage of photographs depicting students and teachers. A graphic of the Perkins logo and the words, Teachable Moments. A title, Partial and Tactual Object Calendar System, with Sharon Stelzer. Hi, my name is Sharon Stelzer, and I'm a teacher in the deafblind department at Perkins School for the Blind. And I'm here today to talk about calendar systems, specifically about calendar systems made with partial objects and tactual objects. Sharon Stelzer stands behind a desk on which are displayed two calendar systems. On her right is a rectangular board approximately three feet long and eight inches high. The board is covered in black Veltex and divided into five segments by four vertical strips of masking tape. To her left is a board that is twice as high, also divided by four vertical strips of masking tape and one horizontal strip that bisects the board, creating 10 calendar panels. This is one of the systems for one of my students. She's 14 years old and she has trisomy 22. She has visual anomalies um, due to complications from her trisomy 22. She has cysts and scarring on both of her um, cornea and her the sclera, which means that she has lost some vision in the past few years um, due to the scarring and because of her cysts. So this is a student's, um, I'm going to talk about today about how she's moved from a morning or an afternoon schedule, which is just a simple one tier to a two tier system. So the first thing I wanted to talk about, you might have noticed that the calendar systems are on an angle. And this is really helpful for students who are visually impaired because it brings the, the calendar system from a flat surface, which is harder to look at because you're leaning over and you might have to look, you know, look down at something. It brings it right up into their visual field. And this has been extremely helpful for her. Our calendar is extremely motivating. It's made up of, this is all made up of cardboard, triple thick cardboard, and it is covered with a um, Veltex covering that Velcro can stick to it. So it's really easy to make. This is just simple masking tape because she can see with um, high contrast, um, and she does use her vision for um, high contrast, and very simple kinds of objects are easier for her to see. And then we also have the tactile component so that she can see both of those kinds of things. So we always work in the left to right manner for her. And when I first, she's new to me this year, so we started off with just a morning schedule and then we would change it for an afternoon schedule. And what I noticed that she wanted to, more information about her day and she was re really ready to hear about her whole day. So we moved to a two tier system so that she can have see her whole day in one shot rather than having to go through her morning schedule and then the teachers having to set up an afternoon schedule so she could have all the information at one point in her day. We see a close-up of the two-tiered calendar system. The top tier is filled with black object cards that have white labels and objects that represent the five morning activities snack, speech, meeting, gym, and OT. The afternoon schedule consists of the activities smart board, lunch, daybook, and home. Each of her objects is on a, plas a durable plastic board, and it, you could use anything. You could use cardboard, you could use an index card, and the nice thing about this is it's a dark color, so for her, it's a high contrast. And what I like to do is, she's not a braille reader, and she's not a print reader um, because of her vision. So she really is getting all her information from the tactual object itself. Sharon holds a black card with a white label that reads PT. The symbol for PT is a small green and white suction ball. So this is her symbol for physical therapy. And what it is, it's, as you can see, it's a nice high contrast. The PT gives her exposure to print. Some of her symbols, they, we also have Braille, so she has exposure to that as well. And the nice part about this is that it's all put on with Velcro. So it's easy on, easy off. And then one of the features of that is then she can explore an object herself. So what we did for her is that as we had new symbols come into her system, that we make them together. And I think that's a really important point, is that if the student can be part of the process, 
in um, making their calendar systems. They learn it easier, it's more motivating, and I'd like to give you an example of that right now. So her first picture was, um, she comes in in the morning and she always likes a little snack. She has a long bus ride in. And what we did is she likes um, cereal in the morning. So we came up with a symbol that for uh, her snack. And it's all this is, is an empty packet of hot oatmeal cereal. Sharon holds the object card labeled snack. She has removed the symbolic object, an empty packet of instant oatmeal that had been Velcroed to the card. And what we did with her is, so we made her cereal together. Then what we did was we made the object. So we took the empty packet and I helped her. We cut it down together, put just simple Velcro on the back, Velcroed it right on. And so she knew exactly where this came from. So she had the, she had the cereal first, then she made the objects and she learned it just like that. And it was really a great thing for her. What we've done to expand upon that, which I didn't bring today, is then she has choices. And as we added more selections for her snacks in the morning, we save the empty containers. So that's one of my tips for you today, is definitely save everything so that you can use it to make the objects that are really part of the student's schedule. So we did that together. And then what she does is she goes through her schedule and we talk about what she does. And she's highly motivated about her schedule and what everything that she does. As you can see, there's nice high contrast. Always having her part of her schedule, helping her, having her help set up it. We use these objects at the end of the day that she takes home in a diary or a journal so that she can discuss her day with her mom. So I think those are all really important steps. She had a new class where she was doing a recycling job. Now that she's 14, she gets out in the community even more than she was before. And she has a new job where she goes to a local business and they were um, collecting cans. And then what they get to do is they bring them to their local grocery store, turn in the cans for the money. But in order to make an object for this, we took a can, we, was, we, we cut it down, and then we were able to squish it, so you put it right down to the ground. So we cut off the top, put it on the ground, stomped on it, and it made a beautiful object. And we just felt around to make sure there were no sharp edges. We stuck the Velcro on, we put it on our durable plastic board, and it was ready to go and be put in her schedule. So that was her new symbol for her recycling job. So they make their help make their objects if they can, they help set up the day, they go through, each object and find out what their, their day is going to be like. You can talk about first, then, next, um, what's gonna happen after, all kinds of vocabulary that you can build in. And really having, taking the student's lead and seeing what they're interested in. And um, my particular student loves parties. We happen to celebrate her birthday party. And we came up with two different symbols. We had a candle for her birthday and then a general little horn for the regular birthday party. So really, that was taking her lead and what she was interested in and incorporating that into the schedule. And that's really my teachable moment about calendar systems.